problems were so much more simple back then. Uh, also from Metal Erection, um, this, is, this one's kind of close to home. Now maybe you guys out there don't know if you're out in Australia or some shit like that. Uh, if you don't know, you know, College Metal Station. WSOU deemed satanic by Catholic protesters. Now, um, basically, um, these Catholic protesters were... By let's the way, explain what WSOU is. Yes, let's start with that. So WSOU is a has been a college metal station out of Seton Hall uh, in South Pirate Orleans. Radio. That's what they, that's what they, they're called that's Pirate Radio. Yeah, they're it's mascot for their football team. Whatever, whatever the fuck the team they have is, is called is a pirate. But they call it Pirate Radio. Yes, and it's been pirate. called that as long as I remember. Um, I I've been listening to WSOU. Well, not you know. Now this not, isn't a typical college station though. Yeah, it plays metal. It plays only metal, or um, in, in like well, hard prime, rock in prime time. Um, it did, on the weekends they'll play like the Celtic Heritage Hour. Yeah, but like most college something. stations, you know, they have it's whatever that kid is in there feels like doing yeah, or whatever. You know, it, they're just whatever playing like indie college rock. Like that's where college rock comes from. Yes, yeah, but this station and has always been metal. Yeah, um, I've been listening to it since I was twelve. Literally, it was around when I was 12. Um, they used to play, like, Man of War songs back then. They'd play Typo Negative songs back then. I remember, you know, um, everything, really. Or whatever. A lot of, this was, like, the height of thrash, so a lot of it was, like, you know, Testament and, and, and you know, Overkill. Overkill was a big band on WSOU back in the day. Um, but it's still around today, um, and they're being protested by... Also, Seton Hall is a Catholic university. Oh, yeah. oh I forgot to mention, it's also a Catholic. And so, despite being metal, this uh, radio station is censored. Uh, they censor the lyrics, and it's some of the most benign shit that they will censor, like hell. Mm -hmm. They will censor hell. You can't say hell. Obviously, they'll censor, censor Satan. I think they'll censor, like, demon. Yep. Anything God, even God. Um, say God. They have to say Lamb of God. They have to call Lamb of God Lamb of G. Because, um, <laughs> you know, they can't say... Meanwhile, a band like Lamb of God used to literally be called Burn the Priest. Um, but, you know, they will play all these really, like, vulgar songs. I, I listen to them every day because I'm have not. i still using Driving Sam's car to work, and, like, it only has a radio. It doesn't. So I literally will just sit there. I don't just have a radio. I'll, you just don't know how to use well, the I don't, Bluetooth. Yeah, I, don't, yeah, I don't know how to use the Does my iPhone even do that? You could bring an aux cord in there as well. I, I could, yeah. You could solve all your own problems. Wait, wait, wait. Would that work with the iPhone, though, the aux cord? Because the iPhone doesn't. Well, the iPhone has a, has a headphone jack, right? Oh, you need a dongle. Uh, do you need a dongle for that? See, there you go. They can't even make it easy. But no, anyway. I think your phone actually is Yeah, fine. I think my phone still has the thing. Yeah, it has a headphone jack. Um, but anyway, so I listen there, and the music they play is just fucking terrible. It is like all the garbage and metal today. It's like for 20-year-olds, I guess. Comment down below if you listen to WS and you know what this stuff is. Um, it is the, it, it, Occasionally, they'll play like a, you know, some song. It's like post-gent core. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to identify it because it's not in my universe at all. It's for 20-year-olds. It's a metal we're 20 year old and it makes no sense it is the worst garbage ever but a lot of these songs aren't necessarily like you know clean songs there's a lot of you know mentions of demons or hell or whatever just casually it's not even like a, they're trying to be that edgy they've played ghost they play yeah they used to play i haven't heard ghost on there in a while well ghost isn't active right now yeah it's true but i think they'd play like an older song from ghost i haven't i literally haven't heard a ghost song on there in a while but i've definitely heard some ridiculous censorship of ghost song yeah they'll they'll just all of a sudden they'll be like a bleep and it's like what he didn't say a curse there i know this song it's like oh he really bleeped that out seriously um well they don't do the hard bleep they just do like it's, the, like, a, it's like a scramble it's like, a scramble it's like sound. the omission of sound. Like yeah, they, like, they sucked out the sound from that moment. It's very. It's uh, like coded. It just goes. You're just like, did I mishear that? Or well, yeah, it's really. It was an error in the play. In the, in yeah, the, that's. In, it sounds you know? like an error. Yeah. Um. But yes, finally, uh, some Catholics have turned their eye onto the uh, cognitive dissonance of playing all this metal but, at this uh, Catholic university. Do these Catholics understand that, like, you know, this is also a Catholic university, like, and it's always been. So that way, you know, like they've always kind of followed the rules. They're not really trying to be that edgy. That's just what they played. And it's always been strange to me that a Catholic university is playing metal. Like it's always, my whole life, it's always been strange to me. But, you know, they don't really push the line because, you know, there's also FCC I would, rules too. I, I would like to hear the story of the founding of WSOU yeah. and it's, and what caused it to be explicitly metal, yeah. you know, not like a, a neutral college station. Like we are metal. Yeah, and you know, when that goes back to probably like the late 80s, I don't know who the first 
DJs on WWE. I mean, they're they're kind of terrible DJs. I mean, they're children, so they're they're pretty fucking I mean, yeah, they're, terrible. They're they're getting college credit. They're really don't bad. Don't knock them. No, they're really bad. Like I would do way better. Like you know, even if I was the 20. ones on prime time are usually all right. Yeah, like the normal. Like, but what was remember that show we were listening to once? And I was like, what is that? This? Was not prime time. Uh, it was that night though. Like, it was. I guess that's it not was prime not. time. I'm, prime time is like morning evening commute. Yeah, that's true. That's that's pretty uh, good prime time. But it was like they they couldn't even get the sound right. And and I know they have like decent equipment there. I would imagine because the other shows sound fine. It's like they didn't even know how to use the equipment. It was horrific. But um. You know, it, it's uh. But anyway, back to the story. Uh, the Lepanto Institute. Wherever that is, I don't know what that is. I did not want to click on the link to okay. what find out whatever we, we, they we were. We could watch the video very quickly. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll keep talking. We'll, we'll do that in a second. Just keep. Uh, uh, I didn't watch the video. Yeah, it's it's just it's it reminds you of like old Satanic Panic days. Like like you know, it, it's kind of funny in a way. Scroll back up. You know, but um, yeah. Stand by, everyone. I don't well, want your thumbnails on the screen. Lost my mouse. That's just the... Uh, what, Edward Snowden? Well, you don't like Edward Snowden. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, there he is. There he is. He looks like he's like, now the devil is in here. Like, look, he's just like, there's like a whole like <laughs> satanic panic thing. It's amazing. Satanic so, panic is back. Yeah, we'll, we'll check out that video. Um, but, um, yeah, the attached video reminds me of kind of like a bygone day in music, of, you know, when conservative politicians used to, you know, when the clergy used to, like, constantly be assaulting. Remember those days? Well, it might be before your time, literally. But, like, in the, in the early 90s, late 80s, this was just, like, regular. And there were a lot of people fighting against it. Like, people like Rob Halford were kind of, you know, and Ozzy were kind of, like, you know, fighting back against it. But, you know, I have to say... I miss those days. I, you know, it kept things interesting. Simpler times. Yeah, it was simpler times. All we were worried about is, is stations playing satanic music, and that scared people. That's what people had to worry about back then, you know. But I'm not crazy about the idea of metal being normalized in society. I want the old days of war. I want the old days of conflict and metal when people were afraid of it. You think that's possible anymore? I don't think. I guess it's probably not possible anymore. People but have real problems now. I guess so. Like, why are you worried about metal? Like it's who cares, you know? Like they're not. Remember these people worried about Marilyn Manson. I like, mean, people are worried about stuff, but it's not metal. Yeah, it's not metal. Like, like they're, they're all worried about wet ass pussy right now. Yeah, I guess. But but people have always been worried about songs like that too. Like Prince used to make songs, and people are like, oh my god, this is vulgar. So yeah. it's the same thing. So there's always going to be vulgar popular music. Yeah, but it's metal isn't popular. So yeah, I guess you know obviously or some, out of the fire. Like Cardi B is like a lot more. You know, she's like on the level of Prince. I guess she's not nearly as talented as Prince. Um, but you know, like she's in the mainstream target. So if you're in that target and you do something like that, um, you know, you're gonna. They even went after like Cindy Lauper back in the day for making a song about masturbating. Um, so yes, I guess if metal ever got big again, the Satanism could be. Uh, metal is pretty big, but not like MTV big. And there was a time when it was literally MTV. It's big. not big enough to garner that sort of attention. Yeah. So. Um, regarding WSAU, um, like I said before, it, it is a shit station run by children. It's not edgy. Um, it, it, you know, okay. it, it's, it's, what? I want to say something. I okay. appreciate WSOU. Okay. As Mal Dixon here has lived in New Jersey his entire I life. I my whole life, literally. So he doesn't know what it's like to live without WSOU. Yes. Yes, I've had Um, it. you know, I grew up in the middle of nowhere where we had one alt-rock station and I could barely get any other things what, on the what, frequency. What was that station called? Do the thing. 99.9 The Buzz. The Buzz. <laughs> and, you know, we had some other hippie-ass Vermont station I could get and, like... Crunchy Granola. Crunchy Granola. Was that? All day. It was called The Point. The Point. All day. They didn't have a DJ to talk like this, did no, they? No, they didn't. They yeah. said they, it was, it was the like NPR. Vo- it was the Hello. NPR voice. Hello, you're on the point. You're listening to the. Point. You're on the point. <laughs> That's how I would have done it. <laughs> and okay, I had no exposure to metal because of this. None. I I also didn't have TV, so <laughs> you know. If I lived in New Jersey, I would have found WSOU because I, you know, I sure. would have found it. I would have gotten exposed to a lot of shit a lot quicker. So, um, yeah, even if it plays like, you know, right now it plays like 90% emo, garbage. Emo metal. It's literally emo metal. It does play the classics every so Once often. Once in a while. Still. So any kids listening to that garbage are still getting exposed to Iron Maiden and shit. 
Yeah. You know, they're still but hearing that. They won't play Man of War songs anymore. They used to like regularly play Man of War songs. They won't do it anymore because they think kids won't you know, like that. Hopefully, you know, that Iron Maiden's getting through. Yeah, they getting do Getting that. through. They're like, wow, maybe they're noticing that the Iron Maiden's way better than, you know. I, I think, wait, can I interject? I think the Iron Maiden just comes out on their computer. It's like, oh, play an Iron Maiden song. And the kids are like, what's this? And they play it. I don't know. That's probably don't really I'm like sure there's. I'm sure they're suggested to play some classics. Yeah, it comes up on the computer. But just the fact that I can hear Iron Maiden or Jews Priest or even just Metallica, Metallica on the radio here is amazing. And it's not true for huge swaths of this country. Hmm. So despite, you know, all the post gent core you can hear on WSOU. Emo gent core. Um, I th- I think it's important. It's an important thing, and it's a good thing. I rest my case. Okay, you know, yeah, it's you know, it's new for you. Like you know, obviously, I've had the whole thing my whole life. Had you know, the you MTV. take it for granted. I do. Yeah, you true. don't know what it's like yes. to not have this, You've especially had it. as a young person. Yes, I've, I've I, and I don't know how I just I don't know how I discovered it. I, I like heard about it, and I remember listening, and I and I have fond memories of listening to it. I lived all the way up in Wayne at the time. And it's still hard to. And when I was driving your car up to Oakland the other day, um, to the DMV, uh, I remembered WSU fades out up there. Uh, it runs out of range, and right where I used to live, I passed by where I said, and it started fading out. And I was like, "Wow!" I used to have to like struggle to get a signal up there, and it's still it, you still have to struggle to get a signal up up there in the mountains. So, um, yeah, it's still that way. And I used to have to kind of struggle to get it. And, yeah, I started listening to it when I was, like, 12 or 13 because, you know, I wanted to hear Metallica songs. And there was no Spotify back then. So, you literally, in, there, there weren't playing a Metallica on, you didn't own on it. MTV. It was very rare. Metallica did have a video. But, you know, I did own it. But, you know, I wanted to, like, not be my st- by my stereo all the time. I wanted to just be laying in my bed and, listen, you know, hear a Metallica song when I was doing my homework or something, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, just just we had a radio and we the radio still the, the, the 80s were essential or, or even the early 90s were essentially like the 1950s it really wasn't that much different like it was only if we had like computers that somewhat worked you know but all right well what this lepanto institute is doing is they're just asking people to sign a petition i'm not sure what uh, is the end goal of the petition uh, well let's uh, click on their petition it only has uh, it's right there 190 signatures well it's probably updated no it's more it was more like 250 here it by is the time let's sign it. it 262 very modest goal of 500 signatures. I guess they don't have much faith in their campaign. Does that get them shut down if we get 500? Um, I, I think it's just a letter to the Cardinal, I, have, I guess, of Newark, who maybe oversees... Cardinal Tobin. Oversees uh, Seton Hall University. Shut down your um, <laughs> I'm for it. I'm signing. I'm signing. No, do not can we sign. Shut them, can we shut them down? You know, if they, if so if they get their full 500... No, do we, do we get uh, to shut them down? Full 500 signatures. Maybe Cardinal Tobin will be we'll like, swayed. This is really bad. No, we do not want WSOU Car- shut down. Car- I just spoke passionately Car- in its defense. No, but listen, Car- T- Cardinal Tobin will hear it and be like, huh, this, this emo metal is really bad, man. I'm shutting this shit down. Guys, bad. Also, they do play like mass every Sunday. They do. No, they do. They, they have on, on Sunday, and so they have like the Celtic Heritage Hour. Like, it's like. Celtic but they also play a mass. Yeah, they do a mass, and then they have the game too, like whatever that is. They do the Seton Hall basketball. And they were playing some weird music just today when we turned it on. When we went in the car today, it was. I, I feel know, like we're picking up another station, like right, just yeah. in our driveway. There's another station. I don't know. It was like weird stuff. But they'll play like you know, like stuff that isn't metal on the weekends. They kind of give the metal a break on the weekends. So yeah, that's a petition. And if you don't want to sign it, if you want to get rid of WSU, that's fine by me. Uh, let's watch a quick portion of this video. We're not going to get copyrighted or anything. Um, it's just. It reminds you of, oh, we just skipped A it. radio station a radio under the station. authority of a Catholic university and the local archbishop is broadcasting blatantly satanic music. And when called out for it, the archdiocese punted while the university ran for cover. In just Fucking a moment, metal core is not openly satanic. I'm sorry. Of the radio station, <laughs> Where are you getting, like, like you can't just come out today and say this stuff. You, you can't just like come out today in 2020 and, and, and worry about this shit. You can't. Like, everyone's just going to be like, because we all live through that. Like, most older people and, like, kids are like, what the fuck? Like, and I don't think, I don't think you're even, like, triggering kids with this stuff. Like, back then, yeah, we were triggered by this stuff. We were like, how dare you say that? But, you know, but today kids are like, what? They're probably like, what? What? Dude, kids, what? Right, kids today are watching Sabrina the Teenage Witch is on that Netflix. The, is that what they like? With which features the protagonist going to a fucking school with a Baphomet statue in it. <laughs> 
and everyone's just being like, "Hail Satan!" You, you thought, yeah. So you thought, okay, thought it was that's bad. way worse. And I'm not saying it's bad. I'm obviously totally yeah, fine with if that. Wanna, it's better than molesting Normalized kids. Normalized Satanism. Yeah. Uh, it's better than molesting uh, kids. It's fine. Like, that is so much worse than anything that happens on WSOU. Like, but I guess that's a big fish. They're like, fish. They're like uh, this little college station. Like, why don't you, I bet we could take them out with 500 signatures. Why don't you go after something? Like, I don't know. Go do other things. Like, aren't you worried about, like, Harry Potter or something? Or, like, what? I bet, I'm sure they hate Harry Potter. Of yeah. all things, this is... this station is terrible uh, again, and harmless maybe because it's you know part of a catholic university. yeah they, they can't believe that is part it's, it's oh dude it's it, it looks like it's old wsu looks like it like dude when when wsu came out you were probably like a kid okay this guy like you were the guy's probably like around my age that guy like maybe he's a little older than me you know and he and he could have found this his whole life like he could have being like, oh yeah, they have a metal station, but like it's like he just discovered this. He's like, oh my god, they're playing, they're playing songs from, I don't even know who. Like I, I can't think of like a W. What's it like a WSIU band? Really quick. Code Orange. Code Orange. Is Code Orange. Yeah, they kind of are a WSIU. Yeah. Code oh, one hundred percent. Right. Code Orange. There's. There you go. Like they're like. Come on. It's it chill. It's chill. Code Orange is children metal. It's it's metal for children. It's twenty. That's probably old. one of the better. Yeah. Bands. And that's play. and that's one of the better bands. I mean, they'll play Power Trip sometimes. They will do that. You like, can't, can't deny Power Trip. Code Orange is one of the better metalcore bands, yeah, but it is metalcore, which is for. Yeah. For there's, the children. It's for the children. There's a lot of stuff like that. And there's just a lot of the, just like these emo metal bands. I don't even know what they are, but they have got like, guys that sing like this. And it's like, this is metal? There's one metal band on there that the guy literally sounds like um Met the Matchbox 20 guy. But it's like a kind of a metal band. They but, also have a death metal vocal, though? No. No, it's just the Matchbox 20 oh. sounding guy. It doesn't change. It's just the Matchbox 20. It, it sounds like the uh, Rob Thomas is singing for a metal band. A really bad metal band. I'm like, what the? I'm like, why would you play this? There's another metal band that they play often. It's called um, um, Against Brass, and it's it's like a horn metal band. Oh my god! And it's got this girl singer. Um, they love like weird Euro shit too. They, like uh, yeah, I think it's Euro. I don't think it's Euro. She she's like um like Afro Cuban kind of chick. Um, she sings in Spanish too. Um, because I looked them up. Uh, they're called Against Brass or something. It's, it's literally a brass band with a guitar and a drum and a bass, but it has like a full brass section, like a full like six man brass section. And well, you should be open to that since you're gonna start yeah, your black like, metal saxophone project. Yeah, I know, project. but it's, it's not. It's like a whole, but it doesn't sound like the kind of like like stuff I would. It's just like just ridiculous kind of brass music, really like bombastic brass music, almost like a like a New Orleans kind of style. So it's not metal; it's jazz. It's well, it's that kind of. It's it's like a Dixieland kind of jazz, but it, no, it's metal at the same time. Like almost like a new metal at the same time. Like you know, like look like, sort of like a forced in guitar and drums, okay. but with brass. You just listen to it; you'll you'll hear it. Like it's. it's that's not, I think I got enough there. But that's something they play. That's an example of something they play, which I don't. You know, I don't know. Whatever, whatever people, whatever young people, I don't get it. Uh, so anyway, that's um. But protect WSOU from no, these no, no, fucking no. weirdos. Um, no, you are wrong. <laughs> you are on, objectively I'm wrong. I'm on the side of the uh, <laughs> of this guy. You have benefited, <laughs> and now you want to take yes, it away burn it from down. everybody else. I want to burn it the fuck down, okay? Because it's not cause it doesn't. I don't agree with it anymore. So I want to just because you're an old man that doesn't yes, get it I'm anymore. I'm a disgruntled old man. I'm like get but, rid of it. No, it, it made me. I can't say that. It, it like gave me everything. You know, it, 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 it had a um, a major. Um, uh, influence in my metal up. I probably even mentioned it on the first episode of Here Lives Metal. I might have even mentioned that. I probably did how they had a major influence um, in my metal life since I was 12. So there you go. So that's 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 it, everyone. Mm-hmm.